everyone. Today I'm going to do part two of All About Tarts. And today obviously is all about tart burners, melters, warmers. Um, I call them any of those names. Um, I really don't call it a burner, but a melter or a warmer will work as well. I have different varieties. I'm going to talk to you about all the different types and which ones I like or what I like to use where. I know that there were several of the YouTubers that have made videos about this, but I figured since this is the All About Tarts segment too, I might as well go ahead and share all this for, with my opinion as well. The first one I have here is a Better Homes and Gardens. This has pine cones on it. It actually came out during the winter time and picked it up because it's subtle. It matches in my bath, in my bedroom, on my nightstand. It and you can use it as a night light. This one uses a light bulb and it is, let's see if it'll tell me how many, it says max 25 watts, but I don't, I don't know if it is 25 watts. Even though it does melt other vendors tarts or melts, it sometimes doesn't give off the same amount of throw that some of my other warmers do. But I like it because you can use it as a nightlight. You can take the dish off and get that wax off. I just pop some ice cubes in there and pop it out. And it's easy cleanup. And I like it because it's nice and high up off the um, wood that I have it on. All right, next is a Scentsy warmer. And it's basically the same idea. And I believe it's 20 watts. It, it's a big cupcake. And you'll see up at the top of the cupcake, it has holes to release the fragrance. And then you have the chocolate cake part, which holds the wax. And you'll see that it has a good size wax pool. And then inside, obviously, is the light bulb. I'm not going to tilt it. You can see that. And the thing about Scentsy, it takes a really long time for it to melt. Um, even its own product takes it seems like it takes a long time i still have i think luscious lemon and then there's a cutie pie cupcake i have two bars of each and i haven't gotten rid of them yet um they they were okay the first couple of times i was using them and then i think i just got worn out so i am planning on maybe purchasing some different scents just to try them out because it's such a cute warmer and i don't even know why i bought it because it's a cupcake it's not like that's something i'd keep out all the time but whatever it's cute and I like it, so I, can, I went ahead and bought it. And it would be great for a nightlight. I've also heard that the, um, the brand, of course, Scentsy, is supposed to be really safe and the wax doesn't get to extreme temperatures where it can scald or burn your skin. And you can actually stick your finger in it and it's not going to. It, of course, is hot, but it's not going to, you know, make your skin blister or anything like that. Next is um, my other electric ones, and I have two. I have two that are the short, stubby kind that are also a candle warmer on the bottom. You can just put it on that plate down there. And I actually bought this one from um, Kim's Tarts. And it's got an indicator light on the front. Yes, it is yellow. And I didn't think the yellow was really going to match, but I actually have yellow notes kind of, uh, or notes, <laughs> yellow accents all over. So this actually worked out well. And I like it because the dish can come off. You can just put some ice on it and it will pop out so you don't have to worry about it. If you use soy um, tarts or melts, um, and it kind of makes a mess because I know when I had some extra diamond candles wax that I needed to scoop out, a little bit of soap and water should take care of it. Usually after a couple of uses I will kind of rinse it out or wash it out with some soap um, and I just dry it with you know a towel. I have a lot of hand towels that we don't use for dishes because either they're too small or whatever and I just use one of those to wipe it out. And I let these get, if you're gonna put this in the freezer to get the wax out, I just let it get back to room temperature before I start to use it because the you don't want the stress of the heat and the cold to crack or shatter the actual plate or the actual dish. Now, if that happens, 
I'm gonna tell you what I do, I cheat. Sometimes I get too lazy and I don't want to pop out that wax or I'm not done and I wanna start a new one. I will actually use a ramekin. Now, be warned, this is just something that I do. I've never had a problem, but if you are you know, skeptical or you don't wanna try that, then don't do it. I haven't had one break or anything like that. These are made to withstand the heat of an oven, so I figure they can handle a little warming plate. But once again, you know, if you're worried, don't try it. Next, I have, oh, actually, let's see the wattage of that one. This one is 24 watts, and I think the other one is too. Um, I got my other one from um, Bed Bath & Beyond, and now they actually sell them at my grocery store, which I thought was pretty funny. So I guess this is a big deal now, all this wax. And you can see it's a little bit more decorative. It's got some design on it. But same thing goes with that. It comes off. You can warm stuff on the top. Your coffee. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and you just go ahead and flip it on. I've actually seen ones that have timer on the flip switch. So I've never tried one, but they do exist. I've seen them. So if you're interested in something like that, you can go check that out as well. Um, obviously, there's no... Um, light bulb to it, no night light. It's just on. It does have an indicator light, so you will know that it is still on. And I have this kind in the candle room and in the family room. And then I have that one in the kitchen. And then this one, like I said, was in the bedroom. That one's actually in the front hallway right now because it is somebody's birthday this weekend. And I want to celebrate because it's me. All right. Next, tea light warmers. Now, I am not a pro at tea light warmers. I actually don't use them except for in the bathroom because I use them in a place where it's hard to get a plug. If I can't plug it in, you'll notice these cords are awfully short when you have them that you sometimes can't reach or it's in like a bathroom where water is and you don't really want that mixing. You can buy a tea light warmer. This one was $4 at Bed Bath & Beyond. And you can see it's kind of dirty. I haven't cleaned it out. But it's also chipped, which it should be a big no-no. If you get something that's damaged like that, you shouldn't use it because it can crack. Especially during use, you can have it explode and make a big mess. So definitely look them over before you buy them. I use this in the bathroom and it hasn't had a problem. Really, you want to look around in this area. You also don't want to have too many holes because you don't want that heat escaping out before it is getting to the actual tart on top. Now, the Nose Nose 76, that would be Jason, he actually double stacks his tea lights inside. And I am so not coordinated to do that. So I will knock it over if I try to do that. Um, I understand why, because that way it gets, gosh, this one's in really bad shape. <laughs> um, it gets the heat up at the very top of the dish, and that will help it warm up a lot faster. So definitely can understand why he would do that. Now, this one's actually my nicer one. I got this for $5 at Yankee. I guess they were trying to just get rid of them. It's really cute. It's got a big sunflower on there. And... Well, that's not where I want that. Let's see. It actually has like a little place inside where you could stick your tea lights. And it, same thing, warm up there. Doesn't have a whole lot, whole lot of holes. It will keep in the heat. And once your four hours are up, then obviously it will go out and your tart on top, your melted tart, will just harden. I like that because then I don't have to worry. I know you're not supposed to leave a candle unattended, but a tea light in the bathroom, I'm not too worried about it. And as long as it's in a good kind of metal cup, it should be all right. I don't use the plastic cups just because I, I have seen tea lights made with that. I'm worried that those will melt down. But after four hours, it should go out by itself. And typically I can get two tea lights through before the scent is gone out of the tart. 
I prefer electric because it's getting steady constant heat to the wax just like this one unlike this where the flame starts off nice and big and close to the top and then as it's melting down the flames pulling away from that bowl on the top and so then your wax is starting to harden up a little bit it's getting towards the end of its lifespan for the tea light and then the light bulb warmers they work great for different types of wax like better homes and gardens scentsy party light that's what that can melt in but if you try to put a um I don't know, a Yankee in there. I tried putting in a Yankee and a Cincy and it just sat in there. It did not even phase it. I think it, it melted maybe just a slight little bit on the bottom and that was it. So definitely you need to figure out which one that you like. Um, I prefer electric. I have electric all throughout the house. Um, however, tea lights are great for the bathroom. So you pick, you figure it out, figure out what you like to use. Um, you can also use um, oils too. Um, I, I haven't really talked to you about fragrance oils, but I do own some and I don't use them in these warmers. They make specific warmers for oils. You can get them, I think they're pretty cheap actually. You can get them at Bath and Body Works, Yankee. I'm not sure about like Walmart or Target, but they may have them too. You just have to look around and try to find it. Actually, I think they do have them at Walmart. So that is it. If you have any questions about any of these warmers or you would like to know some more information, please let me know. I'll be glad to help you out. And that's the end of part two of All About Tarts. So stick around to see All About Storage for Tarts. Till next time, take care.